What are the different levels of formality in communication? Do you use the same words or expressions when talking to different people? What's your speech style? That's what we are going to discuss. Good day, dear students. Welcome back to our oral communication class. Have you improved your listening and speaking skills? What are the skills that you need to improve? I want to know your progress in English communication. Please share your thoughts in the comment section as this is our only way to find out if the videos that you have been watching are useful for you or not. Let me show you these sentences. The sentences, what's up? How do you do? These are the same in meaning but the first greeting is informal while the last one is informal. We should know degrees or levels of language used. Just like in communication, there are also different degrees of formality and that's the main topic for our lesson today, particularly on the types of speech styles. Our lesson objectives are the following. You are going to identify speech styles used in social situations and apply language forms in different styles. Do you have any idea what speech style is? Is it about the way you talk? We discussed in our previous lesson that the environment and the number of people involved are important factors in communication. I have here samples of sentences or direct sentences extracted from dialogues and pictures. Let's try to analyze the pictures. What's the best sentence for picture one? How about picture two? Picture three? four and five so we have here the right time has, has finally come will you marry me babe that picture two. Oh, guys i could still recall our high school crashes it was marvin picture three this is about an oath taking ceremony that is picture one and picture five is about dribbling okay and picture four is the speech of Duterte. We will identify these dialogues later in which type of speech style they belong. Since our main goal in our class is to be good in communication skills, the choice of words and the structure of sentences should be considered, otherwise will be misinterpreted. We often hear the saying, first impressions last. Do you agree? In some situations, this can be applied. Our manner or style of speaking or communicating should vary depending on the occasion, audience, subject matter, and the purpose of communication. So, what is a speech style? According to Martin Jews in 1976, speech style here means the form of language that the speaker uses which characterized by the degree of formality from the most formal to the least formal style. He identified the styles in five classes which we are going to discuss one by one. The first is frozen. Frozen style is a style which is intended to be remembered and used in very formal setting such as in palace, church ritual, or state ceremony and some other occasions. This style involves very large group of people whose members are known to one another. It is considered to be the most highly formal style which uses the most complex grammatical structure and vocabulary known only to experts in a particular field. It utilizes customary and ritualized expressions. Going back to the dialogues and pictures, which is the best example for frozen style? Any guess? It is the oath-taking ceremony. That is picture number one. Other examples are marriage vows, a judicial sentencing, allegiance to the country or flag, or prayer like the, the Lord's Prayer. It is frozen because it remains unchanged. If there are changes, just revisions, but it needs careful development of thoughts and other technical writing considerations. Let's say when you need to revise the Lord's Prayer, it is not easy to change. 
it is not easy to revise rituals and ceremonies. The second type is formal style. Its aim is to inform and it is to captivate audience. According to Jews, formal style is generally used in formal situation where there is the least amount of shared background and the communication in this style is largely one way with little or no feedback from the audience. In speaking, what the speaker says is something that has been prepared, meaning it is scripted. In the dialogues that I showed you earlier, which is the best example for formal style? It is picture, picture four, President Duterte delivering his speech. Other examples are sermons, graduation speeches, pronouncements made by judges, announcements in school, and others. The third type of speech is consultative style. It is a style used in semi-formal communication. From the word consultative, there is an expert to consult to. Jews mentioned that consultative style is a style that shown our norm for coming to term with strangers who speak our language but whose personal stock of information may be different. Consultative style happens in two-way participation. It is used in negotiating with the strangers or work colleagues. It is also used in small group discussion and in business-like situations. So what is the best example for this? In the picture, it is about the coach and the athlete. Other examples of situation are communication between teachers and students, employers and employees, doctor and patient, president and his or her constituents. The fourth is casual or informal style. From the term casual, this style is common among peers and friends. There is free and easy participation of both speaker and listener. The diction or vocabulary to use is informal or colloquial. Some students use, hey guys, let me go as a kind of and more. And in the picture, the best example is the, this picture. They are friends who are reminiscing about their high school life. Since we are doing virtual classes, other examples are internet chat rooms, tweets, personal emails, blogs. The last one is intimate style. This style is used in conversations between people who are very close and it's also free and easy participation. The language used in these styles may not be shared in public. So what's the best example for this? Oh, in the picture, it's about the boyfriend-girlfriend picture. That's why endearments like honey, babe, mahal are used for two people who are in love. We also have endearments for our parents. Well, we are done with our discussion. Let's test if you get the concept of the different types of speech styles. I'll give you five different situations. You identify the type of speech style appropriate for these situations. Num number one, inquiring about the cost of rapid test. Consultative, offering a prayer before a meal. Of course, frozen, delivering news reports. Formal, having one-on-one -on -one conversation with my special friend. Intimate, talking with friends while playing Mobile Legends. Casual, for your reflection, let me ask you, what is the biggest challenge in terms of communicating with your classmates online? What did you learn from today's lesson, which you are going to apply in your day-to-day -day activity? Happy learning, everyone. See you. So, so.